Hello Aquarius, welcome to your self-love journey reading for the month of April. I am Christine, your mind and body empowerment coach. I hope that this reading finds you all well. So Aquarius, interesting card you have for April. The storyteller. Look at that. I love the imagery on all these cards. It's really quite beautiful. So Aquarius, it seems that, my friends, what I want to say is you really, really need to believe in yourselves. You need to know how powerful that you truly are, okay? Because the message with this card is you have a beautiful, unique story to share with the world, okay, that is most definitely going to inspire others, all right? But I think that you've been kind of keeping yourself a little bit small, a little bit dim, a little bit dark, all right? Because you're afraid that you're going to maybe outshine other people, um, or if you shine your light, then that takes away from other people's light, or you're afraid if you shine too brightly, people aren't going to like you. They're going to reject you. They're going to judge you. They're going to criticize you, okay? Maybe you're afraid you're going to lose friends or loved ones if you shine too brightly or if you share what's on your heart and mind unapologetically. Well, the message with this card is you need to stop that now, <laughs> okay? You, you truly need to let that go. Let go of any self-doubt or feelings of... Um, you know, a lack of self-worth or a lack of self-confidence, just an overall lack of belief in yourself, okay? Because your story, your words, your beautiful light is needed, okay? And you don't need to worry about other people because when you shine your light, you give other people permission to shine theirs. When you tell your story, which allows your heart to heal, you inspire other people to do the same thing. And then they're inspired to heal their heart and so on and so forth. And talk about, you know, being all connected and really uh, calling in world peace. That's how it's done. Okay. That's really and truly how it's done. So the most self-loving and self-accepting thing you could do is to love yourself unconditionally, to embrace your most authentic self and to allow that person, that beautiful soul to shine forth. Okay. With no reservations because it's needed. You are needed. You have a story to share. Maybe you're a writer. Maybe you're an artist. Maybe you're a speaker. Maybe you are a singer. Um, I don't know. Fill in the blanks. But in some way, shape, or form, maybe you're a poet. I don't know. And you don't even know it. <laughs> I don't know, Aquarius. But in some way, shape, or form, you have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful story to share. And I'm sure it's probably filled with a lot of challenges. It's not to say that that everything you've endured is beautiful. But out of chaos comes creation. Out of pain comes power, okay, and creativity and a new beginning and a new adventure. And, and I just, I don't know, I feel like you are the artist right now of your life and you are painting a beautiful, beautiful piece of artwork that you get to create. But you need to believe in yourself and you need to put any feelings of self-doubt away, out of your mind, out of your awareness, okay, out of your energetic field because it doesn't belong there. I mean, you're an Aquarius, you understand, you know, big picture thinking and, and I mean, you're, you all are essentially humanitarians at your core, right? So you love doing things for other people. You love making a difference and you are change makers. So don't worry about dimming other people's light. That is not a, that is a definite untruth. Okay. It's a definite untruth. When you shine your light as loud as can be, as bright as can be, you are giving other people permission and inspiration to do the same. And that my friends is how you call in world peace. So believe it, know it, embody it, okay? Now, I clarify this with, you have the Ace of Wands, the Seven of Cups, and the Page of Swords, okay? So first of all, I feel like the Seven of Cups popped out first. So I do feel like this is representing your energy, Aquarius, a little bit here. Perhaps, you know, feeling a little confused, feeling a little unsure of yourself, and kind of you know, wondering, can I share my gifts? Is it okay? Is it okay to put myself out there? Is it okay to take my walls down? Is it okay to be vulnerable and transparent and, you know, share my story, to share all of the trials and tribulations I've gone through, to share all the, you know, harsh emotions that I've experienced along my path, along my journey? Is it okay? Is it okay to, you know, shine all of this, right? All of this here with this beautiful cup at the top here. The answer is yes, absolutely. The Ace of Wands is a giant yes, okay? Um, this is you harnessing your creative power. This is you tapping into your authentic self, connecting to your most authentic self, your higher self, your guides, your team, all of the beautiful beings of light that support you and love you so much 
This is you connecting to all of that power and using it for something so beautiful and magnificent and good. Because like I said, you are a storyteller, okay? This is one of your beautiful gifts that you embody. So believe in that, trust in that. If you've been like wavering on sharing some kind of story or whatever it is for you, if you've been wavering, you need to stop with that because we need to hear it. You, like literally, you are doing people around you in this world a disservice by not sharing your story because it needs to be heard. There's somebody out there, many people out there who will absolutely benefit from it, will be inspired and empowered by it, and will probably change their life in some capacity. So wow, no pressure though. <laughs> so this is a big yes from the universe. Like, yes, choose, choose this beautiful cup here, this beautiful cup of self-love and self-worth, okay? Trust in your power, trust in your beautiful creative power. This is like a new spark being lit, a new spark of inspiration and excitement and adventure and just grabbing hold of all the endless possibilities that are here waiting for you to take, it, to take hold of, right? This is you grabbing that wand and like, yes, I'm claiming my stake here. I know I have a story to share. It's important and I'm going to go forth and going to do it. Even if I'm a little freaked out to do it, I'm going to do it anyway. And you also have the page of swords and the page of swords is you going out and sharing your message. Absolutely. This is you, you know, again, however it shows up for you, whether it's like as a public speaker or on social media, this often is the social media card. So this could be you on social media, becoming more of like an influencer or just gaining more of a following. Okay. Um, people who truly resonate with your message, with this Ace of Wands, like people who feel your message and your story and what you have to share in their soul, in the core of their being. Okay. That's what you want, right? When you put yourself forth super authentically and get real and transparent and raw and vulnerable, you are going to f attract the people who are meant to find you, who are meant to hear your message, okay? Um, so yeah, I feel like this is you spreading your message, okay? Spreading the good word, all right? Uh, whatever that means for you. And it doesn't have to be on social media. It could be, like I said, through art or, um, oh, geez, through dance. I, I don't know. However you express yourself, this is you expressing fully, freely, um, excitedly, unapologetically. I feel like your creativity is going to just be like on fire throughout the month of April. Okay. And most likely into the summer. Okay. Because with this wands here, that's very fire energy Aquarius. So to me, that's like from now all the way into, uh, August into Leo season, I feel like you're going to be really getting yourself out there in the limelight. Um, sharing whatever experiences you've gone through in some way, shape, or form. Maybe it's through music. I don't know. I'm just saying that just popped into my head. Um, but you're going to be sharing your story in some way, shape, or form, and it's going to be so worth your while. You're going to be filled with so much love, so much joy, so much gratitude, okay? Because you, by you doing this, you are helping so many people. You don't even know it. You don't even know it. So believe in your power, trust in what you have to offer, trust in your unique gifts, talents, and abilities, and just start getting them out there, my friends, okay? And finally, your higher self wants you to know, I receive messages from nature easily. Okay, awesome. So I feel like this is a little uh, heads up from the universe that you're definitely being given a, lot of, given a lot of signs and synchronicities and symbolism in your physical reality, but possibly in nature if you are somebody who is out in nature a lot. But ultimately, I feel like this is just outside in your physical reality. So really pay attention for repeating numbers, repeating symbols, words, um, you know, yeah, all that kind of stuff because it's the, your spirit team, I think is trying to give you the next steps or solutions or resources. Okay. For you. So really pay attention to all signs and synchronicities. And also I am free to make my wishes come true. Yes. Oh my gosh. That's so beautiful. Absolutely. Aquarius, you are free to make all of your wishes come true with this ace of wands. This is a new beginning for you. This is a fresh start. This is you owning your power, seeing your beautiful worth and value, loving yourself unconditionally, and just sharing it with the rest of the world. I mean, what a gift that is for you and for everybody else, okay? So you're free. You're free to do whatever is on your heart, whatever is in your soul. So I hope that you do. Let me know. Keep me posted. <laughs> Sending you so much love, light, and all that good stuff, Aquarius. And I look forward to seeing you all again in May for your self-love journey readings. Until then, take care. Bye.